Right now, JJK is delivering one of its most thrilling battles ever, with Utah taking on Sukuna. Fans remember that Utah has faced Sukuna before and lost, but this time, things are different. Utah is now in control of Gojo's body, which means he has access to the Limitless Curse technique and the Six Eyes. This makes him more powerful than he's ever been. It's going to be incredibly exciting to see how Utah handles Sukuna in the next few chapters. However, there's a catch. Utah is on a strict time limit. Fans are eager to find out what will happen once that time runs out and what the ultimate fate of Gojo's body will be. So while Utah is stepping up to face Sukuna with newfound strength and skills, the clock is ticking. Anyway, please tell me your thoughts in the comments below and please subscribe to my channel and turn on all post notifications so you don't miss any daily uploads. Let's talk about Utah and his big move in JJK. When Utah decided to take control of Gojo's body, he knew exactly what he was getting into. He was aware that he only had five minutes to deal with Sukuna. Once those five minutes are up, nobody, including Utah, knows what will happen next. There are three possible outcomes that the author has hinted at. First, when the five minutes are up, Utah's curse technique might run out and he could die immediately. Second, he might be able to hang onto Gojo's body a bit longer, but he would slowly lose his life and eventually die. The third possibility is that Utah could end up living in Gojo's body permanently, for as long as time allows. His bravery in making this switch is clear, and even Sukuna acknowledges that he underestimated Utah, saying my apologies. It seems I've underestimated you. I didn't think you were capable of going this far. There are three possible outcomes and no one knows which one it will be. Given that Utah is seen as a key figure of the new generation, especially after Gojo's defeat, fans are hoping he doesn't get killed off. So the idea of Utah dying immediately after the five minutes isn't the most likely scenario right now. Then there's the possibility that Utah could live in Gojo's body forever. While this could happen, it's not very likely because of Rika. In the last chapter, we saw that Rika is still very connected to Utah. When his cursed technique runs out after five minutes, we don't know what will happen to her. Plus, Utah's original body can't just be left empty. Given these points, fans are left guessing and hoping for the best. Let's get into the possibilities for Utah's situation. Anything can happen, but the best move for the author might be to come up with something no one has predicted. One possible outcome is that Utah could return to his own body after the five minutes are up. In Jujutsu Kaisen, it's established that the body and soul are the same thing, as Kinjaku explained. The body is the soul and the soul is the body. So if his curse technique runs out, he might be able to go back to his own body. The only catch is that his brain wouldn't be in his body. But since the body and soul are essentially the same, and the soul holds all the important information, there might be a way around this. With some help from characters like Shoko, they could possibly find a solution to this problem. This would be a surprising twist that no one sees coming. Fans are left guessing, and the author has the opportunity to throw in a curveball that fits the story's logic and keeps everyone on their toes. So, while we don't know exactly what will happen, the idea of him returning to his own body with some help is definitely on the table. Just like Utah's body likely contains his soul information, Gojo's body should too. The story has made it clear that the body and soul are the same thing, and this applies to Gojo as well. Even though Gojo lost his life, his body should still be connected to his soul. So if Gojo's body is fully healed, his soul should be able to take effect again. Think about how Suguru tried to fight back against Kenjaku and Shibuya, even though Suguru's body was under Kenny's control. Fragments of Suguru's soul were still present and tried to resist. The same could be true for Gojo. If Utah returns to his own body and Gojo's body is left, without anyone controlling it, there's a chance Gojo's soul could take over again. The key idea here is that the body is the soul and the soul is the body. Right now, Utah is the one controlling Gojo's body and making it work. But once he leaves, Gojo's soul might be able to reclaim his body just like Suguru tried to do. If this happens, fans could see both Utah and Gojo make a grand return at the same time. This would definitely be an exciting twist for the upcoming battles in the story. So we're left with a lot of possibilities and potential surprises. The author has set up a scenario where anything can happen in many ways. 
Utah and Gojo are deeply intertwined now. If Utah were to perish while inhabiting Gojo's body, it could spell the end for both of them. If Gojo were to come back and falls on the battlefield again, it would mean that Utah's own body, now Enrique's arms, could never be reclaimed, sealing his fate. And it also means that Gojo cannot be saved. Moreover, fans should not entertain the idea that Utah might sacrifice himself only for Gojo to somehow be revived. The author has made it clear that such a scenario is out of the question. Either they both survive together or Utah, at the very least, must endure. The narrative won't allow for Gojo to return at Utah's expense under any circumstances. All right, let's break down what's at stake here for Utah and Gojo. Right now, fans are facing some tough scenarios. If Utah dies while he's inside Gojo's body after the five minutes run out, that could mean the end for both of them. It's a precarious situation, you know? But then if Utah ends up staying in Gojo's body indefinitely, that changes everything. Imagine this, a whole new character emerging with Utah's original body left behind. That's not just a physical change, it's an emotional one too, especially considering his bond with Rika, which might be lost forever. Now let's consider the author's perspective. The best case scenario for the story would probably involve finding a way for Yuta to return to his own body. That's one part of the equation. The other part, well, it's about Gojo. If his soul, after being fully healed, can take back control of his own body, it could mean a fresh start for him. Picture it, Gojo, not as the all-powerful figure we've come to know, but simply as Gojo Satoru, with a chance to move forward and sever ties with his past. It's definitely a distant possibility, but it's one that's worth considering at this stage of the story. There's this theory I've been thinking about ever since we found out that we we retrieved Gojo's body. I feel like I should tell you all about it. But let me start from the beginning. When Sukuna sliced Gojo in half, we later learned that we we took Gojo's body and sent it to Shoko. We don't know what exactly happened during that period. All we know is that Shoko stitched Gojo's body back together and removed his brain. We all know that we, we can swap anything, even souls, but there's a drawback. He can only swap people's souls twice a month. A person can only swap two times a month. What I'm about to say might sound crazy, but hear me out. With the information about Wee Wee's curse technique, we know that the sorcerers swapped souls with each other and Gojo swapped with Yuta only once. This means Wee Wee can still swap Gojo's soul with someone else. When Gojo was dying, Wee Wee could have swapped Gojo's soul with another person's soul to ensure that Gojo's soul survives and let Utah use his body. Now Gojo might be stuck in a new body that is weak and useless, making him unable to fight Sukuna. We all know the author is unpredictable, and he might have very well done this, but we don't know for sure. Remember, this is just a theory. It has some holes in it, and I know it's more likely not to happen, but who knows? It might happen in the manga. Everything is in the author's hands. I hope you enjoyed that heavy dose of copium. Anyway, please tell me your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on all post notifications so you don't miss any daily uploads.